Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode. Um, I am so excited to be able to share with you the word of God. Um, it's always good to hear God's word. God's word is powerful. God's word is alive. And God's word speaks, amen. It speaks. And today I believe that it's going to speak to someone. Uh, so if you are watching this, it's not by accident. God wants you to hear um, what he has to say. So today I am going to be speaking on the book of Jeremiah, chapter one. Um, this word has been on my heart for a couple good months. Um, and I believe that God uh, wants me to share it with you today. Um. So I love the book of Jeremiah as it gets straight uh, to to point, because uh, from verse one to three, it just uh, gives a brief introduction of um, who Jeremiah was and um, how God got to speak to him and uh, give him a word. So we're going to start from uh, verse four, and it says, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Verse 6. Ah, sovereign Lord, I said, I do not know how to speak. I am only a child. But the Lord said to me, do not say I'm only a child. You must go to everyone I send you to and say whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you, and I will rescue you, declares the Lord. Then the Lord reached out his hand and touched my mouth and said to me, Now I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appoint you over nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and overthrow, oh Jesus, to build and to plant. So I'm just going to stop right there, y'all. It's getting really juicy and exciting. So God is telling someone today, God is giving you a word uh, and he's telling you that he knows you just the way he told Jeremiah that I knew you even before you were formed in your mother's womb. I knew you and I set you apart and I appointed you as a prophet to nations. God is telling you today that everything that's going on in your life, I, I had already seen it before you were even formed in your mother's womb. The situation that you are currently in, I know about it and I am not confused about your current situation, but I am sending you on a job uh, to do. And just like how some of us would have reacted if God told us that, um, just like how Jeremiah reacted, he was like, excuse me, I can't even talk to save my life. Are you telling me that you set me apart and appointed me as a prophet? What? But see, sometimes we look at our current situation our current circumstances, and we try to be like, God, look at A, B, and C. So what you're telling me to do is not going to work because I have this and I have this and I have this. And God is telling you, do not say that. Whatever you're saying, whether you're saying, God, I don't have the money. God, I don't have the necessary skills. God, no one even notices me in society. No one even acknowledges my presence. I am young. I'm too young. Who's going to listen to me? God is saying, don't say that. For you must go to wherever uh, I command you and to whoever I send you to and say whatever I command you to say. And do not be afraid of them, for I am with you and I will rescue you, declares the Lord. And you know, uh, uh, God is telling someone today that he has chosen you. He has appointed you to destroy and to overthrow, to demolish every generational curse in your family, to demolish every uh, li uh, limitations and setbacks generational cycles he he has chosen you all you have to do is be like yes lord here i am send me send me because he wants to use you to start over start building something new start planting new things oh thank you jesus in 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 verse um 17 I like what it says in verse 17, and this is for someone. 
get yourself ready. Get yourself ready. Get yourself ready. See, God has already told you in the beginning that I know you. No one on this planet Earth knows you the way I do. I formed you in my image and I am with you and I am for you and not against you. Do not be afraid. And he has given you an assignment to do. I want you to do this and this and this. Now you have to get yourself ready. And I like what it says. Stand up. Stand up. If you're sitting down, you have to fight standing up. No one demolishes a building while sitting down. No one tears down something while sitting down. You have to be up on your feet. You have to pray that, Lord, I ask for your full armor. And you have to stand up with your full armor, with your weapons ready to fight. And it carries on by saying, and say to them whatever I command you. Do not be terrified by them or i will terrify you before them uh-uh i ain't ready to do that no it's either you won't be terrified or god will terrify you before them you have to choose you have to choose verse 18 today i have made you a fortified city come on and an iron pillar and a bronze wall to stand against the whole land not just the, the whole town or just your neighborhood, the whole land, which means, man, you got the, all the protection you need. You got all the strength you need to stand up against whatever uh, God is sending you to do. And it says against the kings of Judah, against its officials, its priests and the people of the land against every generational curse that might be after your family, against every sickness and disease. He is making you an iron pillar, a fortified city to fight. Come on. And you know this part, verse 19, I really love it. Because, you know, like I always say, people usually think that when you say, here I am, Lord, send me. Everything is just going to be cool and smooth and no one is going to come fighting you and you're just going to be sitting down, sipping um, uh, some orange juice and everything is going to be beautiful. No, sorry to break it to you, but it says they will fight against you. They will fight against you. They will. That's why it's telling you to get ready. And stand up because there are going to be some um, fighting, y'all. There are going to be some punches here and there. You're going to be doing some kicking. <laughs> but here's the good news. But you, but they will not overcome you. Amen. God is good. They will not overcome you. Why? For I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord stop come on hey, god is good god is good god is telling you i know that there are going to be things fighting you i know that there are going to be some dark days i know that you're going to spend some days in depression you're going to spend some days struggling and fighting anxiety but these things will not overcome you they will not overcome you that is a promise y'all they will not overcome you for i am going to be with you and I will rescue you. Listen, you got the Lord on your side. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. So go for it head on. Go for it head on. Go for it head on. You got the Lord host on your side. You got the King of Kings on your side. You got the Lord of Lords on your side. You got the rule of the world on your side. Because he's still seated on the throne, y'all. He still rules and reigns. He didn't, uh, he's not like, you know, just chilling. No, he's still seated, fighting for you. He's still seated there on the throne, giving you strength, guiding you, commanding you. All you have to do is listen to him. Follow each and every instruction that he gives to you. But God is telling you to get yourself ready. Because what he has in store for you is big. It's big and it's huge and it's beautiful. So I just want, that's all I have to say today. And um, 
what a powerful, what a powerful word of God. He's, uh, he's preparing some of y'all to fight. And remember, Ephesians 6 verse 12 says, for we do, for we, we wrestle not, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual weaknesses in high places. That's what we're fighting against you. That's what God is telling us to get ourselves ready and to stand up to fight. So I just want to pray for everybody who's uh, listening to this, everybody who's watching this. God is speaking to you. And this might be maybe the first time you're hearing him speak to you through this word, or it just might be a confirmation for you to get on the battlefield and to fight and to be used of the Lord to do mighty works and mighty things. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you for every viewer. I thank you for your child that's watching this right now, oh Lord. Holy Spirit, I pray that you continue to speak to them. I pray that you continue to minister this word through each and every viewer. Father, I pray, Lord, that there won't only be hearers of your word, but there will be doers of your word, Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you that you are preparing, Lord, a mighty army, Lord, to do your work and to, to stand up in the battlefield, oh Lord, and to fight, Lord. I pray, Father, that you give us boldness and you make us, you make us courageous, oh Lord, to do your work, Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you uh, remove every spirit of fear. You remove every spirit of doubt. You remove every voice of the enemy, Father, that will try to hinder us from doing your work, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for your uh, that your complete armor will be upon us, O Lord, that you protect us, O Lord, and we know, Lord, Father, that you will never leave us, Lord, and you will never forsake us, Lord Jesus. So we thank you, Lord, that you are with us. We thank you, Lord, for your promises for us. We thank you, Lord, that you'll fulfill each and every promise, Lord, in our lives, O oh Lord Jesus. So, Father, I cover each and every viewer with the blood of Jesus. I cover each and uh, each and every uh, purpose, Lord, that you have set out for them with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, O oh Lord, because we know that you have chosen them and that you have appointed them, O oh Lord, and that you knew each and every one of them before they were even formed in their mother's womb, Father. And we know, Father, that you have made us, Father, in your image and in your likeness, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord, because we are reminded that you love us and that you care for us and that you, you are our refuge, our fortress, and we will trust in you, Lord Jesus. Father, I pray for each and every viewer that might be in the valley, Lord. As you say in uh, your word, Father, that even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, Lord, we will fear no evil. For you are with us, Lord. Your rod and your staff, they comfort us, Lord Jesus. So, Father, I thank you. And I bless your name, O oh Lord, for the wonderful work, Lord, that you're going to be doing through your children. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. God is good, y'all. God is good. He is wonderful and he is mighty. So I thank you once again for uh, watching this. Um, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe and to share um and to share shade with uh even speak about it maybe this word might not even be for you but it might be for a relative of yours that is just waiting to hear what the lord has to say in their life so thank you once again it's always a pleasure to be here um so um see you uh next time and god bless bye